Lions Bo Angles. The legendary Bo Angles. How's it going everyone? I am genuinely excited to take a first look at this new South Africa Reserve here in Call of the Wild, the Angler. Azilo Zasandulo, which I'm not even sure I'm pronouncing correctly, but according to Google Translate means ancient monsters, but I'm sure everyone will still refer to it as the South Africa map. Now just to give you a rundown of what we'll be looking at here in the first five minutes or so, we will be checking out the 16 species included with the reserve. We'll also be taking a quick look at the map and the fishing area is throughout and we're going to take a quick look at the store to see what new items are available as well as the local souvenirs that you can gain through reputation and big fish all of this is before we head out into the map and do a little bit of fishing on our own now as all of you should know by now but just as a reminder the south africa reserve is set to release and call of the wild the angler on march 26th and that's for both pc and console now if you're new to the channel welcome i'm Bo, and you're watching Bo angles we're the largest fishing game channel on youtube YouTube, and it's because I love fishing. I've fished all over the world from North America to Europe to Asia and even Africa. I work with several state wildlife agencies across the United States, and I've even filmed with one of the guys from Meteor. All of this is to say that Bow Angles is much more than just a YouTube channel that plays fishing games. So if you're new, I hope you'll consider subscribing. And if you like real life fishing and hunting, I'd recommend our second channel, The Modern Day Outdoors. But enough of that, let's get into the game. This place is beautiful. You know, you look out on something like this and you think, Am I going to be able to adventure out there? And the nice thing about Call of the Wild Angler is that you will. It's open map. You can go out. You can, you can go way over there if you want to. And it's so awesome. So like I said before, let's take a look at the different fish species that we can go after here on the new South Africa Reserve. And here we go. Starting off with the smallmouth bass. There we go. Uh, it was one of the fish I thought we would see on the new map. And we've also got the spotted bass, which we were told would be coming as well. Uh, common carp saw that one coming. Uh, we've got grass carp new one that's interesting grass carp okay and uh, mirror carp okay we've seen that one from Spain the African sharp tooth catfish that is a cool one I actually tried catching one of these when I was in Taiwan I was not successful but uh, maybe I can you know make up for that here <laughs> we'll just have to see we've got the African mottled eel that makes a lot more sense than the African lungfish and it's cool to see a different kind of eel fish out here <laughs> that'll be fun to see uh blue kerper hey i actually thought they would add this a so good deal we got the blue kerper we've got the canary kerper uh the red breast kerper saw that one as well the purple labio guess that one good deal that's awesome uh we've got the red nose labio sweet moggle i don't know what the moggle is i've never heard of that one that's interesting uh african tiger fish that is gonna be the target fish of this new reserve is it not i mean look at that sucker and i will say I have got an African tiger fish of my own, though I can say it's not mine. It's my wife's. It's a little dusty as well. You're, you're on YouTube now. You can't be dusty. Awesome little fish here. I wish we could have caught a bigger one, but hey, that's okay. Super cool to uh, be fishing around hippos and crocodiles and stuff like that. An adventure, I will say. I wish I was into filming back then. I, I really would have been a cool adventure to get on tape. But to end it off, we've got the largemouth yellow fish and the smallmouth yellow fish. Right on. I, I had guessed that they would add a yellowfish I should have guessed that they would add both of them but with that we've got six we've got 12 we got 16 that is all 16 species here at the South Africa uh, reserve so hopefully you're looking forward to catching a number of these fish species especially if you're from the United States cool to see a lot of fish that we don't really have access to here so that is that is awesome all right I also said we would take a quick look at the map here so let's do that we Pretty much have north to south available um, as you can see here big rivers they kind of open up into these uh, big kind of uh, lakes in between or something like that you can see a dam down here as well and all this looks like a volcano that we can out uh, we fish in the volcano I don't know we'll have to find out we'll have to make that something we check out uh, during the video I'm looking forward to getting into it everyone so I uh, hope this was cool let's go take a look at the shop and then get into some fishing so I will say if you were curious what this whole dino park is about you actually spawn into the map for the first time right in front of it and you kind of have to walk through the dino park to even get to like uh, the shop and everything like that so we've got the big old big old long neck would be the brachiosaurus or the uh, patasaurus or something like that we got triceratops uh, not the pterodactyl you actually learn about that walking through the pterodactyl is a fake name evidently 
There's no such thing as a pterodactyl, evidently. <laughs> Tyrannosaurus Rex, good deal. Yeah, banana teeth, they say when you're going through this. I, I keep saying they say, but you can actually uh, go up to the dinosaur and they have like recordings to tell you about them. The T-Rex roamed the planet during the late Cretaceous period, 65 million years ago, in what's now the USA and Canada. There you go. So that's an example of that. Otherwise, you can make your way through the dinosaur park and down the hill towards the lake. And here we have the Azinsi's uh, Zokudoba Fishing Tackle Shop. And this is Lassetti Precious Dlamini. I had to look at my uh, notes there. But I love that it's uh, such a cool name because we can just refer to her as Precious from now on, I think. Uh, that'll make it a lot easier. But let's take a look at the different gear that is available. Actually, as far as the rods and reels and baits and lures and all that sort of stuff go, um, it doesn't look like they really added in anything new. New, which is you know that's I mean that's understandable but it would it wouldn't have been too much to ask for to see like I don't know some different soft plastics or something that kind of are modeled after a uh, I don't know an African fish of some sort and when you look at baits and stuff I mean it's still the same thing as is everywhere else it would have been cool to see some like little tilapia or something with the minnows and whatnot I guess I've just seen it as kind of a standard you know they put out new things in Russian fishing or fishing planet they add some new baits to the game they add some new rods and stuff that are specific to the area but that's really what sets this game apart compared to the other ones you have access to pretty much like everything so instead of like seeing new gear and stuff like that uh, you know new baits and stuff like it yeah. It all kind of gets melded together, I guess. Apparel, I do believe they added in quite a few uh, new apparel options. Um, there are some new shirts and stuff in here uh, that came with the new uh, reserve, and some of them know about all the stuff in here. You might be noticing stuff that looks new. As far as boats and cars are concerned, you know, nothing really speaks to me as being super new anyway, but maybe you'll notice something different. And taking a look at local souvenirs, I was a little disappointed by this. Um, it certainly seemed like it's just kind of all the same stuff we're used to seeing I guess I was really looking forward to seeing like a safari hat or something of the sort you know something specific to Africa but maybe because this is like an early release or something like that they they haven't included all that stuff yet I don't I don't know uh, but that'll be interesting to see I was really looking forward to seeing some you know safari-esque Africa sort of stuff specific to the area but unfortunately it doesn't look to be the case at the moment all right I've got a float rod kind of rigged up for this uh, fish here so let's just go out oh, I see something down there okay all right here we go here we go what do we got oh it kind of looks like our fish it's a red, oh, it's a red breast curper. Cool fish though, goodness gracious, look at this thing. Good night, that's cool. Cool fish there, good little uh, good little look. That's awesome. <laughs> well, that is uh, not the fish we were going for, but it's good to see another fish species. Good deal, let's toss out again, see if we're luckier this time. Come on, blue curper, where are you? F4, focus. My God, it happened so fast I didn't even have time. There was no little ding or anything. This guy just came out of nowhere. Canary Kerper, okay. That kind of mind reminds me of that photo we saw of that largemouth. The largemouth Kerper, was that, was that something we saw? I'm not sure, but hey, cool. Well, it's still not the, the darn blue Kerper we need. Oh, here we go. Ooh, a good size one. Took two hands to hold this guy. They're still silver. Goodness gracious. <laughs> oh, that's funny. All right, well, cool. Some of these guys don't even, like, nibble. They just come up and grab the sucker. So I wonder if this is the same fish that did it the last time. Because, <laughs> goodness gracious. They give you no warning. All of a sudden, you just hear the bring, and you got a fish on. Oh, wow. Gold canary kerper. That's right. That's right. Right here at the dock in front of the store. Good one. Whoa! We're good. We're here to be fish. At least we don't have an annoying person running the store. Thanks, precious. Oh, yeah. It's not super new. You met me just a little while ago. All right. We are making our way to the uh, vehicles so that we can uh, drive around and check out the rest of the map other than the one good Kerper fishing spot, <laughs> I guess. God. 
Oh, is this an Easter egg? Are we going to get some Land Rovers into the game or something like that? Oh, oh, maybe so. It says Voyage Blue Rat over here. And then over here says Safari 4x4. Though, Safari 4x4 is not in here. So maybe, who knows? Let's get out of here. All right. We got like this third person camera for the car now. Though I will say, don't try changing the, the video because then it likes to snap. It snaps a lot. Yeah, they, they must have, oh God, must have set vid camera angles or something like that. Oh my goodness gracious. We're good, we're good. Just keep it like this if you want to be in third person, I guess. <laughs> I'm wondering if these are some carp lakes or something like that, you know? Thank you. All right, I am done with driving for a little bit. These challenges, we got chat, look at all, all, all the challenges. We got challenges coming out our ears. Goodness gracious. I do have one rod set up for carp. Hmm. Only one way to find out, I suppose. Uh, 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 uh. And it would just to let you know, we are right up here in these little lakes right here. I was curious what they were, uh, what they were, but it does seem to be kind of like a pay pond scenario or something like that. Kind of like what we saw in Taiwan. Ooh, there's a little fish. This looks like a red breasted kerper, maybe. It's one of my favorite things about fishing in different areas and different games and stuff like that is you learn different fish species. I swear your fish identification gets so much better by playing the games. You know fish from all over the world. Oh, oh, oh. You see that thing swimming? That looks like a small mouth yellowfish. Well, how do we catch you? I want to catch you. Come on. Okay, let's throw out. No, I don't see the yellowfish anymore. Just throw this thing out here. Hopefully that yellowfish is around. He comes comes right back and sees that minnow, though. Sees that minnow. Well, he's not going for the minnow. Maybe we'll, I saw that it also likes spinners. So maybe we'll throw a spinner. Gosh, she's got me nervous now. All right, all right. Come on. Would be nice if they just added a button to do a, you know, maxed, maxed uh, cast or something like that. Kind of in Russian fishing, you have that. You can just hold shift and it'll just cast the furthest or whatever. Saves a bit of time on each cast. But at the same time, I wish I could move around right now. And I can't, so. Lots of things we wish would be different. Oh, 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 oh. All right, that's a blood worm. Said they go for blood worms too. Had a slightly smaller hook, it's a size seven. It's just swimming away though. What do you want, yellowfish? What do you want? We've tried spinners, we've tried blood worms, we've tried minnows. It's gotta be a hook size thing. Even though you would think the fish would come over and smell the bait that they want before realizing there's a hook there and then swimming away. But no, we don't get any sort of, we don't get any sort of identification like that. That, that would be just too helpful. Well, there's multiple yellowfish around now. One kind of looks like it's coming over to our bait and now it looks like he's swimming away from it. Yeah, it could be one of these moggles. Doe, red worm, corn. Maybe we should try some doe or a red worm or something like that and see if we catch one. Well, here's a little moggle right here, I'm pretty sure. We'll see if he goes after it. Ooh, we got a nibble. On the red worm, we got something. It could just be a little kerper. I, I mean, I bet anything in this darn lake would go out. No, it is one of the moggles or whatever. Look at that, a moggle. I want, so this is a bronze moggle, but I wonder if those bigger ones were just like silver or gold moggles. Interesting. Okay, well, he did go after the red worm, so that's a good sign. If we see one of the bigger ones, maybe we'll sling this out to them and see if they go after it. Maybe they're just big moggles instead of the uh, smallmouth uh, yellowfish. Oh, there's one right there. Like, casting it as, as little as I can. Oh, he kind of seems like he's going towards it. Nope, he turned away. But there's one right in the blah, right below us. Come on, what's the deal? It almost looked like he was coming up to it for a second. You know, something else I haven't considered yet is that these are grass carp, which would make sense in small little ponds like this. They go for dough, corn, or pearl barbie. And bar barley, not barbie. Um, and maybe that would explain why they haven't been going after the minnows and all that jazz. Let's, um, I have pearl barley. Wish I had corn. Let's let's toss this out. See if that's that gets their attention. Huh? That would be something. This entire time it's just been an identification issue. I swear your fish identification gets so much better by playing the games. It's quite possible. Let's see. My god, we have a fish on. It seems small though. I think we might have just got a Kerber. Yeah, a little canary Kerber. Okay. Interesting. Landed this pretty much right on top of one. <gasps> Nibbles, nibbles. Got, got something. Oh, it's taking out line. 
That's a good sign. That is a good sign. We got we got drag. We can increase the drag here. I think we may have figured it out. Good. It took us way too long, but I'm glad we finally figured it out. I was starting to get really frustrated. I was just like, oh my god, I've tried everything in the book. Literally. The literal handbook. I've tried everything for this uh, smallmouth uh, yellowfish, and nothing is working. Now we are just getting in these 90 feet whenever he gets tuckered out. 70. And the 40s now. Come on. Whoa, we got our first little glimpse of him up there. There he is down there right at the bottom. Our hands in the way. There we go. Come on, man. Get up here. In the 20s now. We're seeing these giant fish swimming around but couldn't figure out how to actually hook them. It's almost like grass carp in real life. <laughs> You're out here trying to fish for bass in these little ponds around your community and stuff like that. And there's these big old grass carp swimming around. Watch this be a yellow fish just to mess with us. There we go! Bronze even! 174 XP, 13 pounds, a little grass carp. <laughs> That is so awesome. I am so glad we figured that out. Good gravy. That just took forever, it felt like. Goodness gracious. Glad we finally caught it, though. Woo! Grass carp down. Now we gotta move on to something else. <laughs> that was fun, though. Glad we figured it out. I was like, I was right in between, like, okay, we need to stop trying to catch this fish. And, uh, and, uh, no. I am dedicated to catching this fish. I was caught right in between those two feelings. That's awesome. And you know, the dang thing is, is that there are multiple lakes out here, you know? We only were fishing the one that had the kind of little island-y part going through it and all that jazz. But I mean, there are still, let's see, we got one, two kind of connected, three, four. I mean, there's basically four lakes there with kind of a bridge going in between one of them. Um, and we've only looked at one of them. So maybe the other two carp species are in here. I don't know. Interesting. There's a little kerper. Okay. Well, I see pegs. Those look like pegs to me. I think this is a carp fishing lake. I bet so. Oh yeah, over here too. Oh man. I don't really understand the point of a peg if, uh, if you don't have any rod stands to put there, but, um, <laughs> but maybe that's a little Easter egg on its own. What is that? What are you? Are you another grass carp? What are you? We'll never know. We'll never know. Moving on. Good night. A waterfall over here. I was looking at the map and I was seeing all these different streams, you know, they kind of look like streams anyway, but they're really kind of rivers going all throughout here. And I was just thinking, how the heck do you even get over to a place like this? You know? And then I was like, well, maybe I'll go look at this stream over here, which is really a river, like I said. And um, yeah, I mean, I'm not going to walk out in that. <laughs> I wouldn't mind fishing down there, though. That kind of looks fun. How I would get down there, though, I don't know. I want to fish beneath the waterfall. You got to let me do what I want to do. Let's go. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yes. I'm free to do what I want. I am the maker of my own legend. And if I want to be the legend that fishes beneath the waterfall, then that's what I'll do. Do you think there's actually any fish down here? What would be down here? Let's uh, so many of these fish go for spinners and spoons though. If anything, I'll walk out of this scenario knowing that I tried fishing below the waterfall over here and it didn't work out. Oh my God, there's an actual fish down here. What is down here? Whoa, you've got to be joking me. Are you joking me right now? Ah, Smallmouth yellowfish, let's go. I had to crash my boat down the waterfall to get here, but look at us now. We are the catchers of a smallmouth yellowfish. Could you ask for a cooler screenshot? I don't think so. That is as epic as it gets, I'm pretty sure. Oh, I was sure there was gonna be no fish down here. <laughs> that is so epic. <laughs> fish below a waterfall and we caught a fish. I'm happy. Did you find another waterfall? I think we did. Goodness gracious, okay. I wish I was fishing over on that little side over there. That looks fun. Let's cast towards the waterfall and see if there's anything in here. Oh, fish on! Fish on! Doesn't seem very big. Another smallmouth yellowfish? Oh, a very smallmouth yellowfish. 
<laughs> That's awesome. Maybe we'll throw on a bigger spinner. Maybe it's just the small ones going after this small spinner. Let's try the size three. Maybe that's a, uh, get, get a bigger fish here. Whoa, fish on, fish on. Oh, shoot, 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 shoot. X, 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 X. Wrong way, wrong way. Oh, oh bigger fish. Holy crap. My immediate thought when that happened was fishing planet, and so I went to change the dra the like uh, drag setting. Like I went on fishing planet, and it did nothing. <laughs> you guys pulling out line, pulling out line. We're down to 40% drag right now. He's got us out to 106. Fight him, fight him. Size three spinner is what got him. A little bit of line in. Don't want to get too excited right now. Whoa. He's still got a little bit of strength, doesn't he? All right, into the 40s now. It's getting a little bit better. Should be able to get a glance at him here soon, you'd think. He's in the 20s. He's just deep down. It's 13 feet deep in here. <gasps> no freaking way. No freaking way. No way. Oh, my God. I'm so excited right now. Come here, you. Oh, my God. <laughs> we found one. We found one. Come on, get in. It's only a bronze, but I'm so excited. <laughs> oh, we found an African tiger fish. Oh, that is so epic. Oh, I'm so excited right now. It's so dark. You can barely see him, but that is an African tiger fish right there. Right in front, right below this waterfall. Oh, so awesome. So awesome. Cannot believe. It's so awful. You can barely see anything. You can barely see my guy's face. It's so dark down here in this little cavern or uh, whatever you want to call it. Canyon? We're fishing in a canyon for tiger fish. Goodness gracious. And we caught our first one. <sighs> so epic. So epic. 3,907 score with the three number three spinner. I put up two, but that was supposed to be a three. And uh, on the map, anyway, we are... We, we drove over to these ponds that had the grass carp in it, and then, yeah, we went down here below this waterfall, fishing the river there. Ah, oh, man. Reminds me of fishing on the Zambezi, man. That is sick. So awesome. I mean, it, it's one of my favorite fish in the world. The Goliath tiger fish, I think, is the most... The most epic fish in the, the freshwater fishing world. You know, air pime is a good one. All this, the goonch catfish and all that stuff. But seriously, I mean, Goliath tiger fish, that is, that is the top dog. And the African tiger fish is just a smaller version of that. So epic. And it's only bronze too. So much to be excited about right now. And, uh, and I want to keep fishing here, but it's just getting dark. Just getting dark down here. Hey everyone, this is Bowen Post. I hope you enjoyed this first glimpse of uh, South Africa here in Call of the Wild, the Angler. Uh, I filmed quite a bit and I was just kind of getting through all this and I, there, I've been cutting out quite a bit actually and it's still running a little bit long and I'm thinking uh, maybe I should just cut it for now and uh, make this a part one and do part two a little bit later, but I hope you're enjoying it. Call the Wild the Angler. I have struggled over the years to get into this game, and uh, and I think I honestly think that they just kind of they they've struck a soft spot with South Africa. I love Africa. I've said this many times before, and I love the fish that are there and um, the African tiger fish. I mean, I think that was probably the high point. I've caught some of the legendary fish in this game, and I still think that was one of the high points of finding that African tiger fish. It's just such an epic fish, it really is. Anywho, I hope you've enjoyed this. If you have, hit that like button, subscribe if you want to see part two or any other fishing videos in the future and if you want to join us for our live streams every wednesday night 7 30 to 9 30 p.m central really consider doing so it's a lot of fun everyone's there to you know to go fishing and hang out and if you want to join us during the game as well make sure you do so i have a discord link down in the description if you'd like to join the community but otherwise we'll see you in part two or any other episode in the future take care everyone and as always remember everyone we're one planet one family game on